teaching the boy the ropes. Good morning YouTube and good morning to all of our fishing and outdoor addicts out there. This is Roy Dallas with Dallas Jr. Hi. And yet another episode. This morning, it is late July and we are fishing a very, very small and very shallow lake in the Kawarthas region of central Ontario. We're after bass and pike. That's pretty much what there is in here. There was some word of musky, but we're not really specialized in that and I don't have much experience in that. So we're gonna stick to the waters we know and see if we can pull out a few big ones. This lake is super shallow, super weedy. So we've tied on a bunch of baits that uh, we think will work here. Of course, they're all weedless. We'll let you have a look at them and uh, explain to you what we're doing as we go along the way and hopefully we'll have a great fishing day. Say hi to your friends. Hi friends. Lately we've had a bunch of new subscribers to the channel. So I'd like to welcome all of you uh, new subscribers. And again, thank you for subscribing. And obviously, thank you to all the people that have been with us from the beginning. We hope to bring you great content. Welcome on board. Let's hit the water. I'm going to use one of these creature baits and uh, color selection, color selection, color selection. I mean, that's the color of the water. The water is pretty clear, so you want to use something that looks more realistic. What I have in here, I think, are these four look more realistic. Um, as compared to the bait fish that I've seen out in the water. Um, I've seen some bluegill in there. You know that bluegill have some red and some purple on them. So I'm going to go ahead and try this purple crawl. This purple craw crawdad bait. And i um, not sure which company this is from, but we'll give that a go. We're using braid with a fluorocarbon tip pretty heavy tip and then you've got a little four inch paddle tail on there so what you want to do is you just want to throw it into the shallows or into the holes in the weeds and just swim it back pause it every so often and uh, repeat until you catch something so you see you've got a lot of holes here between the weeds right mm -hmm. and that's where you want to go the bass will be basically backed up reversed into the holes in the weeds waiting for bait fish to come by and charge at them, right? So pike, the same thing. So that's what you want to do. Oh All right, now we're really in the thick of it. And lots of splashes and ripples in the water over there. Dallas Jr. here is hitting all the little holes. See what we come up with. As we're moving forward, I could see a whole bunch of, uh, that's either bait fish or some really small bluegill just dashing out of the way of the electric motor. You blame them? I don't. Well, let me tell you, there's plenty of food here for the bigger fish to eat. Check out the beaver, guys. Oh, there he goes, under the water. Yep. All right, guys, there's a, a bunch of lily pads in front of us there, which I'm gonna hit with this frog. We'll see what happens. Never wanna to get too close. Then you're basically gonna scare the bejesus out of the fish. I was debating whether I wanted to have the camera on right now or not. I switched baits to a little spinner bait in case, uh, you know, all the stars line up over here and I catch a pike. There are also musky known to be swimming in these waters. Chances of catching those. I probably have a higher chance of getting to the moon tomorrow. But I like the spinnerbait because as it comes through the water, it's producing a lot of flash and I can cast it way out. It covers a lot of water, so it's bound to get hit. Certainly hit that other pike there up in uh, the White Falls area. That's probably in my previous or my next video.
All right, there better be some bass here. I'm telling you, there's no bass here. This boat's going for sale, and I'm out of this business. <laughs> yeah, call call 800, buy Roy Dallas's fishing boat, and get the GoPro for free. A signed boat. I have fishing merch. Yep. Where the heck is it? <laughs> Nike. Yeah. Under Armour. <laughs> Go to Bass Pro Shops, and you'll find uh, lures that I snuck in and basically put my signature on. Well, if I caught some goddamn fish, I'd get 700K subs, maybe. Maybe my shining entertainment side will come out. No, 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 don't tell me that. Bass like shallow. Oh! That was a bite. That was a bite for sure. Got him. I got something. I got him. I got something. Oh look, it's a two pound dink. Two pound what? Here he comes. What is that? That's not a... That's what? a largie? Yeah, Why I think that's a largie. so weird? What's wrong with his eyes? I don't know, they're small. Well, they're kind of close together like that? That just means that his IQ is very low. He's a stupid fish. Yeah, I can tell. Oh shit. Oh, you're freaking smart. All right. Aaron. Stay there then. You're putting your foot over him so he can't flap anywhere. Mm -hmm. And are you like crushing his uh, organs? No, no, no. You don't. You don't touch the fish. You oh, just... okay. Does he? It's a bass for sure. Yeah, it's a bass for sure. Want to pull him out? Fucking thing, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, bass. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. It's a largey. He closed his mouth on me. Yeah, that's okay. Cause you let him. There he goes. Nice. There he goes. Little pounder and a half, maybe. I was gonna say two, but there's no way this guy's two. Are you having a nice day, boy? What's going on? Come over here to Royal Dallas? Getting caught up? <laughs> All freaking day. And this is what I get. Really? Seriously. No, I'm just kidding. It was fun to catch. They're always a, a good fight. And, um,. We're gonna send him back to his mama. We're gonna put him in the live well, take some pictures later on, and we'll throw him back. He'll be up in a minute. Okay, where there was one bass, there may be another. Okay, so that was the icebreaker. Hopefully we have a better second half of the day. We seem to have luck on the second half of the day. You notice that? Oh, they're in here. Hey, Dallas, I just saw a huge ripple over there. I just saw a huge ripple over there. They're right in there. Busting on top water, use a frog. He's trying to escape. It's okay, close it up. Close it up. I'll take some pictures later. Hey, I wanna look at this. It's cool. I'll show you what's cool. Ready? I'm gonna show you the coolest thing you ever seen. Just dropped the rod, dude. Where is it? What? Oh my god. I don't know if you guys caught that on camera, but I was using the frog. It came up with all this junk on it, and we caught this guy right in there. He's just sitting there. Oh my god, that is a massive bass. You guys don't even understand. That's My god. Guys, look at the size of this bass. That's a big large Wow. Bass. This guy, this guy has to weigh in a good, he was barely hooked. This guy's got to weigh in a good, oh, probably four or five pounds. He's a big monster, big monster. Nice. This guy is a monster. If we put him in that live wheel, he'll probably eat the other guy. Yeah, I think we should do that. We're going to put them in here so we can take pictures later on. Check out the salad over here we have. Oh my god. This is crazy. This certainly is a Normal, huge bass hole. Bass. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry. Of course, uh, the battery on the GoPro died just as soon as we went to make that catch. I don't, I don't even know if I got the blow up. We're definitely going to hit up this spot again. 
um, that particular exact spot is probably not going to have check this out that's what came up with it that particular spot is probably not going to have another bass on it um, because that was a very big bass and usually they're pretty dominant and they'll eat anything that gets in their way look at there's the frog oh my god that was insane that bass was probably thinking all right here's a good meal for me i'm gonna go for that well wrong day pal but you're lucky because i always throw my fish back especially the big honking ones oh god look at the size of that monster all right tell them what happened today we caught a really big fish, a big bass, largey, and and another, I guess, average-sized largemouth. That's not average. It's like pee 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 pee. Tiny little pee pee le pew. All right. So Should for we now, we let these fish go here before we leave. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna release the fish in the same lake they were caught, so that uh, they can go back home and continue to produce some big fish. We had a great day out here today. All right guys, here's number one. We're about to release him. He's just under two pounds. So there's the mini and there's the tank. He's trying to bite me. There he goes. And he's off. This is the tank from today. And he weighs in at four and a half pounds. It's big. Might look. All right, we're gonna let him go. Beautiful fish. Might look a but bit you know smaller. the rule, all the trophies get released at, on this channel and when I fish and when my family fishes and that's the way we protect the lakes and make sure that there's a lot of fish out there to catch for everyone else. Look at the mouth on that thing. Oh, it's got a cut. Huge fish. Come on, old man. Let's go. All right. There you go, straight down to the bottom. Bass gone. That was freaking awesome, guys. All right, we're gonna mosey on out of here, give you guys some more uh, footage to look at here in the beautiful Kawartha Lakes. We'll catch you on the next video. As always, Dallas out. Hey guys, so a bit of a Dallas Junior commentary. We're down the river, as you can see down there. Pretty far down. And uh, we found some fellow civilians that are stuck with no gas. So I think we're going to give them a ride back to their cottage so they can get some gas and bring it back to the boat. I'm going to tie you up. I found Jungle Boy here. Jungle Boy here. You guys yeah. filming this? Yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah, <laughs> it's okay, it's my bachelor party. James' bachelor party. <laughs> That's a bachelor? Yeah, How do you guys bachelor forget bachelor gas on a bachelor, bachelor party? <laughs> bachelor We're not used to driving God. boats. We didn't catch a lot of fish, but we did catch a big fish. And those days are fantastic, make for good videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed the scenery and enjoyed the catch um, and enjoyed the B-roll. Don't forget to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, that really helps me out. Check out the, uh, the giveaways, those are always great. And um, we'll catch you on the next video.